right, guys. Welcome back to the final hour of week 25 here on Roleplay. Uh, did we leave the temple? Are we deciding what we're doing? We're going. You we're haven't gonna, left the temple yet. We're escorting Lisa back to what town? I forget. Rift Watch. Rift Watch. Rift Watch. Okay. So I say that sounds good to me. Uh, this place scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> Let's get out of here. And I start walking down the steps or walking towards the bronze doors to, uh, to exit the temple. Okay. So you all head on out. Um, is anything anything else you want to do other than just head back to Rift Watch? I don't think so. Not just really. Make, but make it away at, the forest. at some point, I'll put Vincent aside and mention the ring. Like, when we want to deal with this. Not in the middle of the woods. Well, I agree about that, but just... I'm you. aware. Yeah. Yes, thank you. All right. Let's go. Okay. You guys head on back to Rift Watch. It takes a while to get there. Uh-oh. Uh, your guide is still with you. The poor silent person who seemed to have vanished the entire time. <laughs> but he's there. He's good at hiding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, when the, the bugbear is attacked, he kind of just hid underneath his horse. <laughs> the whole time. Um, to go. On your way back, though, you get. Damn, I can't find this sucker. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, you come across a pair of owl bears. Gregor, you would know quite a bit about owl bears. Of course. Um, this is what you know about them. Owlbears are probably a cro the crossbred creation of a demented wizard, given, le given the lethality of this creation. It's quite likely the wizard who created them is no longer alive. Owlbears are vicious, ravenous, aggressive, and evil-tempered at all times. Owlbears are a cross between a giant owl and a bear. They are covered <laughs> with a thick coat of feathers and fur, black and brown to brown and yellow. The males are 8 feet tall and weigh between 1,300 and 1,500 pounds, and they're a little bit darker colored. The beaks of these creatures are yellow and ivory, and their terrifying eyes are rim red, rimmed red. Elbers speak their own language, which consists of very loud screeches of varying length and pitch. So two so, of these came out of the forest at us? No, they're, you, they're just like hanging out, like, you know, pruning one another. Oh, so do we sneak up on them? Uh, you see them at a distance. Okay, so... Regal, mm -hmm. what are those? So, these are owl bears. <laughs> <laughs> Both one part owl, one part bear. We get Eight that. Eight with dinner. Yes. So... They kind of look like that. If, if we come hilarious. into their line of sight, we will likely have a fight on our hands. I recommend we either ambush or go around. Mm. You know, you uh, guys. I care. they're evil creatures. I say we slay them before they hurt someone else. Okay, ambush Good it point. is. So, Abby and I will ready our ranged weapons. Yeah. Okay. And I'll and, try uh, to get the back attack in there. I'll position myself wisely. Are we? Are we behind them, Neil? Uh, you're. I mean, they're, no, you're on their side. What if we walk to get behind them? That could be achieved. That All could right. be what I Abigail. would go. Abigail. Position yourself to get a back attack. You will initiate, and we will follow yeah. up. Can I attack at the same time as Gregor? Can we both get a back attack on? Sure. That yeah. sounds like a brilliant plan. Let's yeah. do that. You've it's grown time. into quite the warrior, Abigail. <laughs> I'm impressed. All right. As so Gregor you, hang, and our... you hang here with me. Lisa, you, you as well. When they fire, so shall we. Sounds and good. I pull out my little rod of Dalamar. I pull out my little stick Dalamar. Okay. I'm gonna go with the daggers if I can. Okay. So we're so, getting plus two for back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And plus you're getting surprise. a surprise. Plus what? Plus one? Two. So the total is plus four bonus for... I mean, whether you hit them from the back or from a side, consider, since they're surprised, yeah. the bonus is plus four. So I'm at D20 so. plus 12. Yeah. 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 Okay. 32! Oh, shit. <laughs> 31! 
<laughs> wow. Nice job. I have another to roll. Abigail, was that that was with your dagger? Natural twenty. Yeah, and another. Holy shit! Oh, the roll. No, no, you just wait. No, they actually did roll that. That's real. Right. That's a real roll. Holy shit! Wow. Thirty-two bitches. I thought you Double forgot 32. the slash. I was just like, all right. Roll for the six damage you're gonna do. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, shit. Okay, so your daggers do D3 against large sized creatures, but 32. Let me check the armor. They fucking hell. Wow. That's max uh, 4D3. Uh, but since it's back attack, you get another. So 5D3. No, you get two more. So it should be 63. 63 twice. 63? That's actually pretty Can I good. Do this two times? Yeah, just do 12D3. 12D3. <laughs> <12 D3. laughs> oh my god, look at the woods! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you rolled eight ones. I know, man. <laughs> eight ones. Well, after double thirty-two, what do you expect? Well, there's only a, there's only a thirty-three percent chance of getting a yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, sure. That. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that's still pretty to, cool. Try, still no, it's awesome. Cool. It really is. Eighteen's a lot for you. It's just uh. Oh, and crits. Do I get crits? Crit bonuses. You kill a fucking owl bear. <laughs> Ah. Are you kidding me? He just like <laughs> launches with two daggers and they like spin into it. It's like, ow! I'm really weak. Ah! Me, me and Vincent like the and... shittiest, pussiest <laughs> owlbears man has ever created. Uh, it's still Breger's no. got to roll, right? Breger's yeah. got to roll for damage. There we go. Yeah. So roll what am damage. I rolling for damage? You're also rolling max damage. Um, you're using a bow, right? Yeah. <laughs> so four eight-sided dice. But it's 48. back attack, right? That doesn't make a difference for Breger. Okay. Only for Abigail. 48 plus 1? Yeah. 20. <laughs> Did that one die too? No, that one's alive. I'm just I like, think. strange creatures, these Albert. Yeah. <laughs> Much to your happiness, I'd just point at it and yell Dalimar. <laughs> <laughs> 66 plus 6, right? Yeah, Neil's encounters yeah. have been shit on today. He, he makes a save, so he only takes half damage, but... 66. Well, you're 66. The damage again? It's just 66, right? 66. So 20. 11 damage. 11 to any dies. <laughs> <laughs> I was I like, stick and I blow on the end of it and then I sheath it back into my belt. I was like, huh? Let's. Uh, I high five Brigger. I high five Brigger. Let's move on. That was, uh, that was I simple. I the ferret. <laughs> Dude. Maybe we'll find like a cat bear next. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> There's just a quiet in the woods. <laughs> they all just kind of shrug and just kind of yeah, bow kind of... Like back on the path. I'm like, Brega, whatever, uh, whatever. What other type of bears have you encountered? Are there cat bears, penguin bears? There's every every type of bear hybrid known to man. Think oh. of any animal. Okay. Dragon bears, do those exist? We need to Probably find dragon bears, yes. Okay. Cool, let's, uh, let's carry on. <laughs> Fish bears, my favorite. Mm, the fish bear. Sometimes they try to eat themselves. Capable of swimming underwater for long periods of times, but having a tough time reducing the odor. It is called the fish bear. <laughs> for a while, there were shark bears, but it was no good. It was they no got good. taken up in the Sharknado. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just march on to uh, Rift Wash, or what is this place called? Uh, yeah, actually, I nailed it. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Well done. I know. I'm not going to. I'll forget it. Roll. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and you guys get to Rift Watch. Mm-hmm. And we say, uh, like, well, Lisa, I mean, if if you want, you're more than welcome to stay with us. You've been a, an apt warrior and a, and a good friend. You're more than welcome to journey with us if you'd like. And we can cut you in on some of, uh, I imagine, I'm speaking on behalf of the others, but I don't know that they'd say no. We, uh, would love your company. Really? Well... I guess now I would have to ask elves, uh, Asriel, if you want to hang out with us too, you're you're more than welcome. Sure, I'm down. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll stay with uh, I'll stay here with Lisa. Okay, she Lisa, cool. you, you want to join us? I would love to join you. Actually, I've kind of, I, uh, I've done the best I could to avenge my father's death, and and now I I kind of have no more. Plans. So I'd love some a chance to travel with uh, a strong party and maybe earn some money. Very good, friend. You're welcome with us then. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's put the bad you stories be. behind us, Lisa. I'd like to 
to become a trusted party member with you. Yeah, cue the Final Fantasy V new yeah. person joining party music. I tried to make that it's such a good sound. Feels so good when that happens. Um, Doesn't it? We are here at Riftwatch now. We uh, we need to devise what we're going to do. We've heard rumors of a dragon. Bregor is a dragon slayer. I don't know if you yeah. knew that, Lisa. He actually I did not. Yeah. He's a really? well-renowned only when blind, slayer. only when blind. I know that in recent occurrences you've seen him be quite terrible in battle, but against a dragon, the guy closed his eyes and brought it down almost single-handedly. It's actually ridiculous. Interesting. Well, I'm glad that I'm in such strong company. I hope that he's not the only one that can hold his own. Did uh, you see that all bear I just killed? That was sick. Yes, it did look very sickly. I, I'm surprised <laughs> that it took you two daggers to kill it. I think it was vomiting. Oh, it? Like shots fired. Dire, eh. dying one. In it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. I don't know that we need to investigate that war, because I don't think it's any of our business. We're in a different part of... I mean, Abigail can make her case, and if you guys side with her, that's fine. I'll go where the party goes, but... Nah. Don't care that much. I enjoy dragons. Just saying. Just throwing that out there. You guys want to investigate the dragon? I think... Here's what I think. Could hunt the dragon. If we're going to talk about the dragon, then we first need to address the ring. I say the ring. <laughs> I look at him and I go, I kind of give him a look that he knows to be the one that I usually give Abigail, but it's like a, are you fucking stupid? I, like, I immediately say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so I'm just like, what ring, Bregger? Oh, uh, just this, this random ring. I show like one of the Lord Fang's ring that are super old. It's and a like... ring of great value. We're talking about selling it and he's wondering what what kind of cut you guys should be worked into, but that's really not our I'm wondering really if we're going to need right good armor for the dragon, and then we could sell the ring yes. for quite a lot. Yeah. We need to talk about that. Yeah, that, that one ring, yeah. Little thing. It's kind of like, <laughs> oh. Okay. At, uh, <laughs> I kind of look over at Lisa, and is she, does she have, like, plate mail, or is she equipped well with stuff, or is she just kind of... Uh, she's got scale mail on, and she's got a long sword, and she has a bow. And you've known her to be a decent... Like, when you guys are like taking a rest and you'll spar with her sometimes she's actually a pretty good fighter i mean she's she's no vincent longborn but she is definitely one of the better fighters you've seen okay that's cool yeah she's capable of being one shot by bugbears <laughs> well they rolled max damage on a critical hit and didn't kill sick. her so she wasn't one shot that's true I was one shot by an alligator, though. <laughs> so I say, well, since uh, you guys aren't really up for discussing this ring, apparently. Uh, no, we did discuss it. We want to sell it. Well, you compared it to that of a dragon. So I don't know if it was just about so selling. selling it to get the armor necessary to be equipped. Oh, okay. Now I fully understand. Well, let's, um, I mean, uh, we got to go find out. Do you guys want to hunt this dragon? Is that what you want to do? I'm well, there's also the elves people we would like to liberate someday. The what? Yes, on the opposite side of the yeah the continent. A dwarf, I, as a dwarf, I look. I, I've grown quite fond of you, uh, both both of you elves, but I can never be liberating elves. I think ever. we did liberate them, though. I, we keep bringing this up, but I'm pretty sure we killed all the giants. At least most of them. We actually well, two. one jumped into the ocean, right? But I don't think that one goes off to. I think we killed the giants, but I also think there's not ships left, so they're, like, stranded on the island or something. Most likely. I would have to agree with that. You guys seem to forget your adventures <laughs> quite often. It's been, been a long time ago, and we had a big trauma because our friend died on that island. Understood. Yes. Understood. I'm sorry to hear of his passing. Um, Agabo was a good half-man. He was a uh... cleric! Oh, yeah? Yeah, like you. Which, which god did he praise? Jexel. I do not care for him. Let's uh, let's move on and uh, see if we can uh, learn more about this dragon. If anyone right. in the town has, has seen him or heard of his uh, wrongdoings. Sure, let's investigate. Before we do, if you don't mind if I have a word with my my friends Abigail and Vincent in private. Sure, I'll uh, I'll go find out what I can about the dragon. Lisa, you want to accompany, accompany me? Yeah. 
I think that'd be great. All right, so we head off and go All right. wherever. All right, after they leave, they say, so if we're going to be fighting this dragon, and we know dragons to be very extremely corrosive to our, our items and materials, we need to do something with this ring before we fight it. We can't risk it burning up or melting or whatever before we have a chance to use it. I agree. So what are our ideas? Let's just list them and then pick one. <laughs> what? I don't know. I just find that adorable. Well, I mean, <laughs> Let us discuss what we should do and then choose one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vincent takes a the breath The plan of has been laid out. <laughs> yeah. His body maintains standing. Anyways. Um, All right. So what are you, what's your ideas, Vincent? Well, if we believe what happened, we know that Celia used one wish and that one was previously used, and then the belief is that Bannon misused one yeah. wish. Mm -hmm. So we only have one wish. Yes. Possibly. Or is Here it are our issues. We know that Dalimar has his thumb over the top of us. Yeah. And we've worked with him, which has become increasingly more dangerous and has mm -hmm. become something that uh, I personally, at least, am very uncomfortable with because the missions. I I have a great guilt about Uncle Oris. I don't. Yeah. I don't I sit like right it. with that. Um. So that's our big issue. You say that you don't want to lose this item because of the dragon, and I hear you on that. We know it's a green dragon. We know that green dragons, their breath is, and then fill in the Neil here. Is that acid, as well? Toxic gas. Toxic gas. Is that corrosive? No, it's not corrosive. It's just poisonous. So I have experience with that shit, because I walked into a cave of that stuff, right? Uh, no, you walked into a cave that just, like, made you cough <laughs> and gag. This would actually be poisonous, like, you would take damage from the gas. Mm, okay. And your shield would not protect against it, because... It yeah, I was going to ask you about that, because I, under I understood that it was the, a shield against dragon's breath, isn't that what mm -hmm. it was called? Mm -hmm. But in, yeah. in dragon's breath, it just means fire? No, 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 no. Uh, fire, acid, lightning, cold, heat... But not gas. Well, yeah, because the gas will flow around it, right. you know. Okay. Anything else is directed in. Okay, I'm glad to hear that, though, because at first I was like, son of a bitch, it's just fire. All right. Um, um, all sorts of fun things. I do agree with you about that, and there is, of course, nowhere we can stash a ring of this value, so we should... I'm just laying it out in front of us. Do we address Dalimar with this wish? Do we just empower ourselves in, in general? How would you want to address Dalimar with this? A good question. We could wish that Dalimar was actually a bunny rabbit. I I would want to wish great power upon one or all of us in the party. That way we would be less afraid of Dalimar because if it ever happened we could take him on. Plus it would be useful in encounters outside of Dalimar. Yeah, that's true. A uh, third oh. thing is that we would know instantaneously if the wish would if the wish worked yeah. or not. Mm -hmm. I think uh, an interesting ability would be to wish for immunity against dark magic. Well, why limit, it, why limit it to dark? Because you'd want the to use yeah. the parlance of our time, the buffing power of the buffing yeah, power of other magic. Because then our <laughs> ah, allies yes. couldn't help us in battle. I see. Yes, yes. That makes sense. That's an um, interesting idea. Um, other ideas I had were, I mean, I would like that better than healing. Uh, I don't know if that would be possible, but if a ring of second wind would be awesome. If one of us would die and had the ring on, he would be resurrected or something. Yes, I just... Or, uh... or I don't know if it would be possible, or recreating the communication rings I used to have, but for our whole party. If that one ring could enchant those six rings I have here, and then we could wear them and communicate where, while we're not next to each other. Uh, as a child, Abigail, I grew up and we, we debated this issue whether or not you could wish for more wishes. I don't know that you can say, I wish to have six rings of communication. Uh, well, I could wish that all these rings were enchanted with this spell. I don't know. Am I totally off base, Bregor, or does, does having cellular technology sound really dumb? Is that? Uh, I I prefer something like the the magic community. Yeah, I kind of like something along the... those lines. 
I also think we should avoid wishing for something to enchant an object because then that object could be destroyed. That's true. That's I agree. Actually, I think it should right. be imbued into our person. You're right. You're right in that. I would have to agree with this one. I also think we should we should word it in a in a way such that well we know that the ring is tricky, right? Yes. yes. The ring is very specific. So what I'm thinking is we all stand somewhere and we say I wish for everybody to be standing within a 10 foot radius to be imbued with X. That sounds pretty specific to me. Do you think that would work? I think it might. And would you get, I guess we are certain that Delamar uses dark magic. He probably has spells that aren't dark magic. We could just say that we wish for anyone within a 10 foot radius could never be harmed by magic. <laughs> that, that seems pretty OP, man. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound pretty... Yeah, I don't know how OP we're allowed to go. I don't know that that wish... Here, let me... I'm going to try to help me a little. That this. makes it, like, almost boring. <laughs> no, no. I don't think that, that would work, because it's not like we could make the wish that the planet turned into a giant pastry dish, and it would actually <laughs> turn into a giant pastry dish. I do think the ring has limitations in its wish, and I think one of those would be that it can't literally move forward and, and affect all of magic. I don't believe it could do that. Yeah. Hmm. What if we restrict it to Dalamar? But then Uncle Orus could attack us. Well, Dalamar wouldn't know that. And I think that that is something much more... We'd have to find a way to word that, but I think spe specifying it to Dalamar is something we could do. Do you guys want to go for something Dalamar or something just dark magic? I don't want to specify it to one person because I would rather it be useful at all times. That's true. I if Dalamar actually... died, then the, the wish would be wasted, essentially. I know. I just, I'm trying to, I, I have very limited experience with magic, you'll have to understand, but I'm trying to imagine, like, a person was wished into a dragon form through Polymorph. I don't think that they could say, I wish for the nation of Stormguard to all become dragon people, and it would have happened. I don't think that that... You know what I mean? I yeah. feel like this. I feel like with your wish, you can affect one person. Well, this is also another problem. Maybe we have to look this up. We know the name of the ring, do we not? You know, it's a ring of three wishes. It's you did not get a specific name for it. I think we'll need to investigate this before we use the wish, anyways, because if we mess this up, we don't get the wish. Okay. Then That's we true. should. Then we should hold off on the dragon. And now, let this also be clear. No mention of this to other people than these three that are here, Gregor. Agreed. And we do not allow Dalimar to know that we have this ring. No. Agreed. So you're saying we should now not fight the dragon, even though this green dragon doesn't have corrosive ability, can only poison us? Uh, well, it could be highly dangerous. It is highly dangerous, but it's not dangerous to the ring, so I think we should go forward with it anyways. And how do we want to go about investigating uh, the like legends about the ring? We'll we just ask, ask wizards. local wizards, yeah. Yep. We could ask around as if we didn't have it and wanted to try to go get it or something. It would be very vague, I guess. Yeah, sure. Also, I think we should not wish for it anywhere near Valesburg. We should not investigate in that city. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go look into this dragon, yes? Let's go. Sure. All right, so I guess cut back to me and Lisa. Yes. So what are you guys doing? Um, so does this town have like a... I guess this town has like a lord or something, right? Uh, this is Riftwatch is a kind of a fortress. Um, it's more mostly a, a military camp, uh, put here as the kind of like the last place that you would go to before you head down to the lower rift. So it, it's kind of a. It has to have someone in charge, right? Yeah, there, there's definitely someone in charge, but it's not like a local lord taxing people because it's mostly a military camp. Or a militaristic camp. So there, there's a, a colonel in charge. All right. So I, uh, I make way to the colonel's office with Lisa. Okay. 
Okay. You guys head over towards there, um, but you are stopped at the door by guards. Say, uh, hello. Uh, I am wish- wishing to, to speak to someone about uh, the whereabouts of a green dragon that was said to have traveled south of Velsberg and was wondering if you guys had any, any information about it. Oh, Colonel is quite high. Perfect. Um, the green dragon to the to the east? Is that where he is? Yes, we've heard rumors of a dragon out in the Lost Woods. Um, Damn it. <laughs> has, has, has he plagued any other nearby towns or do you, what, what do you know about him other than where he is located? What, what is his, t- his tale, his legend? Well, we hear that the dragon destroyed even far recently. Right, we passed through uh, there. We can verify to that. Yeah. And there was some shenanigans over in in Red Warren earlier uh, where we, we heard some rumors about a, a band of people in Red Warren that had tried to do something with the dragon as well. But I, mm. the stories are few and far between, hard to piece together. Could you... Uh, uh... The dragon seems to have recently appeared. I mean, we, Powell and Fast has stood for thousands of years and never had an issue with dragons before. And only recently has this dragon come about. What are some of these stories that you've heard about him? He's large and ferocious. Uh, must, he must be hundreds and hundreds of years old, if not thousands. So to appear out of nowhere is disturbing. In terms of uh, the shenanigans, can you can you speak to some of those? Reports vary, but there people. We heard that there was a, a group of uh, a band of people who tried to steal the dragon's eggs or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were never seen from again, so I don't know if they were successful or if the dragon ate them. Probably the dragon ate them, or maybe it's just a rumor. Um. I ask, do you, do you know if there's a reward, perhaps, for slaying this dragon? I, I travel with a group of friends who have once already slayed a dragon prior. Do you know the name uh, Bregger, the dragon slayer? I do not. Ah. Well, now we do. A, you're not with me. <laughs> if there was a talk. reward, you'd oh, have sorry. to be Pell and Thass. Uh, I, we here can't really you know, give you a reward for things, but... Palinthas would be the, I mean, it's the capital, so that's the place to go. Also, Palinthas is in danger. I mean, if this, if the dragon's really going to be around, Palinthas would be in grave danger. So, it's only been spo- mm-hmm. spotted in the last month or so. Month or so? Yeah, it's been about a month. Okay. Well, thank you for the information. If I have any more questions, uh, I will come back. I'm going to go meet up with the the rest of the group and I will relay this information and hopefully the dragon will be slain uh, soon. So have a good day. Thank you for your information. I'll throw a gold towards him and walk off. And uh, I make my way back to where I left the party, wherever that is. Okay. All right. So I meet up with the party. I I relay all that information. I, I think... Uh, and I say, I think we should maybe head towards Palanthos. Uh, the guard mentioned that they would be in grave danger if the dragon was uh, was about or whereabouts there. Lisa that says, right. did you really slay a dragon? Yep. No, not her. The other oh. one. The skinnier one. <laughs> the handsome one. What, what sort of dragon did you slay? Hmm. <sighs> A black dragon? Hmm. Although the color of the dragon had nothing to do with us slaying it. We believe no, of course it. not. Right. Yeah, I mean, white dragon, black dragon, red dragon. It's all the same. Know. All the same, yeah. except for... Yeah. yeah. Dragons were created equally. <laughs> They're really not. Somebody I know, that's the better. joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, so he relays well, all I, this. I would be happy to help you slay this dragon, but I, I think I have little else to go for. I think that we should do it, though. I think you're right as well. We should head to Palanthas, though, because if, if this is an older dragon, the one we did battle with, as I have learned in my readings, 
The one we fought was probably younger and thus less, much less powerful. The more powerful a dragon is, the older they are, the more spells they have at their disposal, and just in general, the more fearsome they are. We'll need an army at our back. Then let's go to Palanthas and raise an army. Yeah, Palanthas right. does have an army. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make our way then. First. Yeah, let's go. To Palanthas. Right. To Palanthas! Alright, you guys are in Palanthas. Hooray! <laughs> How long did that take, time-wise? Three days. Okay. <laughs> While there, I have a quick errand to run before we uh, move on. And I pull out the mace from the bag and then make my way <laughs> towards an armorer. With okay. his increased selling skills. Alright. You get yourself to an armorer. Hello, armor. I am uh, I'm Vincent Longborn. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, what can I do for you today? I Are you have... perhaps looking for a new dagger? And he pulls out a dagger. This is my favorite dagger. What does it do? <laughs> He's a What does it's, it do? It's dagger. It stabs people. And but oh. look at the beautiful. If he like holds it on a finger, look at the balance. Look at the craftsmanship. This is a dagger to behold, Prince Longborn. Uh, well, it is quite beautiful. Maybe I'll talk about that after. I do, however, have this mace of what is it called again? Might. Might. This mace of might. I'm looking to sell it. It's a very, very powerful weapon. I see. Well, I, I'm afraid that I am not wealthy enough to purchase your magical items, I'm sure. Uh, Do you know of anyone in this capital, the city, most likely to have someone that probably could take this off? My oh, hands? there are a great many noble lords here who would love to get their hands on some magic equipment, just for bragging rights. They wouldn't use it ever. It'd really Fantastic. just sit on a wall in a house. Is there a bar where they're all lined up sitting at tables by themselves, perhaps easy to talk to in a quick, succinct fashion? He chuckles and said, if that was the case, I would be a very wealth wealthy man and live somewhere very different. Mm. Okay, well, I'll, I'll go and try to find them myself. And thank Vin you, friend. Vincent, I assume we told the party that you were going to go sell this, right? Yes. So I guess as are, do you come back to the party or are you just going to go to another place? I just go straight to the next place. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. So I ask around, Neil, and ask for like... You have, yeah, you, you figure out where the, the nobles live. Um, and you even find one walking through the streets with his like little escort of per, like his household guard. Excuse me, great sir. I have uh, perhaps an item you'd be interested in. The, the guards be like, he's busy, he's busy. You can't talk to him now. It's a weapon um, of great value. Are you sure you don't want to take a look at it? However... The, the nobleman walking, you can tell he's noble, fine clothes and whatnot, uh, says, now hold on. This is why I need better guards. Do you see the, his armor? That is no mere peddler of small trinkets. This man has something for us. And the guard kind of like steps back and goes, okay, whatever. Well, thank you, good sir. It's true. I'm an adventurer, and in my adventures, I have come across many items of great value, one of which is this mace of might. Are you interested? I'm interested in your armor, I do like the black and silver, and I have a, a nephew who needs a birthday present. Ah, uh, um, well, this armor is, of course, curtailed specifically to me, and I have many needs for it, so I couldn't imagine parting with it for anything less than even 70,000 gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is a shame. It's been through... It's been through a battle with a dragon which died. It's killed an entire fortress of giants. Uh, it's withheld the best attacks from Well, I'm from sure the fear. armor hasn't done that itself. I'm sure the man within. You is... humble me, sir. You humble me. But <laughs> truth be told, I couldn't have done it without the armor. But yes, it's of great value. Uh, you are not interested then in the mace. Well, I... May I see it? He, like, gestures. Absolutely. Picks it up, hefts it, goes, this is a heavy, it's a good mace, and he looks at the word, fine. What, what does it do? You say this is a magical mace of might? The wearer becomes more powerful, thus just striking stronger and truer blows. It's a, an amazing weapon, especially, as you say, for a nephew looking to gain glory for themselves. Sure, how much do you want? 
It's a very, very strong weapon, so I'm looking for something in the area of 6,000? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have money on me currently. I mean, who walks around with money on them? Am who right? would do that? Those idiots. You know, like, kind of like checks his pocket real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you got this giant fucking sack of money. <laughs> um, uh, but if you bring it to my house tonight, uh, I we can we'll draw up some. We'll we'll have dinner, and we'll we'll see if we can make this happen. That sounds fantastic, friend. If I could have your address, I'll be there at, at your convenience. Excellent. He gives you his address and makes you promise to be there for dinner at I don't know third watch or whatever, whatever time like five o'clock is. Okay, it's five o'clock. Then I would head back to the guys and tell them that uh, this is what's going down. And then I would pull Abigail and Bregor aside and say, while we're in town, we should probably look into the ring. Again, we have to be very careful about making sure it's known that we don't have it. So I recommend maybe Bregor checking out a library, looking up books about it. And uh, Abigail... Maybe flirting with a couple of wizards and, and not and being as unobvious as you possibly can, but just saying like you've heard legends about this ring. Could you tell me about it? Now, Vincent, sure. do you think it would not work out better if I I with the high charisma did that and she could check out the library? Perhaps Flirted with wizards. Don't We've seen yourself. you flirt with wizards before, <laughs> Bregor. Please, now is not the time for your perverted way. <laughs> We don't want more naked wizards and all the dancing. No, I wasn't, I wasn't talking about the flirting. Never mind. Oh, you mean just talking to them. You know no, what? I, I, I believe I... what I was trying to go for went over your head, but it's okay. We, I, I agree with your plan. Well, actually, I, the more I think about it, though, well, <laughs> I should stay with Lisa and, uh, and Asriel to make sure that they, you know, we don't want it to make it too obvious that all three of us are off doing something about a ring that seems way too silly. So as you pull away, I, I just approach the party. I'm like, hey, uh, Vincent, do you have a sec? Yes, one second, friend. Just one moment. This conversation's over your head at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sound like a plan, Abigail? Bregor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we'll meet up Indeed. back in the morning, and, and uh, no need to rush to, talk, to find out what we learned, but we'll talk about it eventually. Okay. And then I go back to Azriel and say, what's up, friend?